everybody, this is the Week Strand, and today we're going to talk about two things I don't like that much. Non mi piace, as the Italians would say. I fucking hate supernatural horror movies. I hate them. Not all of them, but it's a pretty uphill battle. I have no patience whatsoever for the slow-moving found footage movies. What happens when you combine the two of them? You'll get the devil inside. I don't even know why I'm reviewing this one. You all know what's going to happen. Isabel's mother was subject to an exorcism and uh, while under this exorcism she decided to axe off a couple of people and uh, now she basically sits in some kind of an in, in, in a sane asylum in Rome under the careful eyes of the Vatican. Now Isabel 20 years after this happened thinks that she wants to learn more about what happened to her mother so she goes to Rome to visit her. Now her mothers are being kooky wooky. You know all that good stuff that they do in these things and you know writing crosses on the wall and all that kooky stuff. And she starts telling Isabel stuff that she possibly couldn't have known about her. So she starts to fear that maybe she also can be possessed or something like that. And maybe this being possessed is kind of running through jeans or something like that. So she starts to try to learn more about this thing while she drags around this very, very unfortunate camera crew and a priest that brings her into the secret society of, of you know, um, witchcraft stuff in, in, uh, in the Vatican. So, well, this is our movie in a nutshell. All the jump scares are telegraphed so much, you could hang a sign on top of them. It is no, there is no suspense at all. Everything is very predictable and moves along fairly well, even though it moves along fucking slow. With that said, I was intrigued for a, the smallest period of time. I was kind of, well, this is kind of interesting what we're doing, but then we're gonna have exorcism where people go blah, 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 and stuff like that. Oh, I fucking hate exorcism movies, fucking hell. Anyway, apart from that, this movie ticks all the boxes of uh, things that would happen in a movie like this. And then, and then we come to the ending, which is a big, big, big middle finger to the audience. And it is so dumb. It is so blatantly, obviously phoned in and it is so cheap and it is so boring and it is so aggravating that I didn't know what to do. The only reason that I did not immediately throw a brick through the fucking TV when I saw this one what was the fact that I had seen the gallows a week prior to this one and the gallows was even worse this means that the gallows helped the devil inside to become a better movie because for some reason I think that is the worst horror movie in a found footage setting I have ever seen in my entire life. It's really bad. If you like found footage movies, don't see this one. If you like supernatural drills, don't watch this one either. This is a, an absolute do not watch. I feel kind of happy today, despite the fact that I have to review The Devil Inside. So I'm going to give this movie eight points and I'm going to be very, very generous about this one. It is only because I've seen movies that are so even worse than this one. 35 degrees today here in uh, Punta Prosciutto, which is a dumb name for a nice place. See you next time, you know, from so-and-so reviewing well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Woo!